Uh, good afternoon, you know, good evening. My name is Uri Diret Masivi and I am the president-elect of the VITS SRC 2017 and 2018. Uh, to my left, I have Tenu Lishika. She is the deputy president-elect of the VITS SRC 2017-2018. And on my right is William Matu, the treasurer general-elect. Uh, to his right is Warren Makoha, the secretary general-elect of the VITS SRC 2017 and 2018. Uh, we really apologize for the delay and uh, the numerous scuffles that have happened before we could have started, right? Uh, but anyway, we're going to continue the business of the day. We're not going to be afraid of anyone who's going to try and collapse us. Yes. If it wants to get physical, let it get physical. Yes. We're fighters at the end of the day. Indeed. So, uh, uh, comrades, make no mistake that we have the best interest of students at heart. The problem now is that we have not been... The problem now is that we have not been officially uh, constituted into office, right? The official handover for the SRC of VITS is going to be on Wednesday, the 1st of November. And hence we have been silent because we are reluctant to speak on the position or on behalf of an SRC that has not yet been officiated. So right now, in my greatest capacity, I can only address you as a president-elect and I can address you as a former secretary of the VITS EFF. Um, uh, the three issues that have brought us here today is that a lot of uh, reporters, a lot of students have been asking us about our position with regards to the Fees Must Fall movement, right? The second thing that we are going to try and outline is the supposed response of the Fees Commission report that was leaked uh, yesterday by the citizen or city press, I'm not quite sure. And then thirdly, we're going to be talking about how we're going to move forward in our term into the SRC, right? And this is something that we cannot really expound on because we are not there yet. But I can at least give you a vision of the VITS EFF, right? Uh, first and foremost is the issue of uh, whether or not there will be a shutdown at VITS University. I am quite aware that University of Free State, COFSIS, uh, is currently under shutdown. I am quite aware that University of Cape Town, UCT, is also currently under shutdown. We are also quite aware that the central yeah, CPUT is also under shutdown. And what people have been saying, and what people have been saying is that they need a sense of solidarity from VITS. I can honestly say to you now, and I'm sure you see it for yourselves, that there's a lot of division in terms of the direction the students must take. The student body is highly agitated and highly divided. And we know that there are those elements that are responsible for that division. We know who won the majority seat in the VITS SRC. We know, we know who students voted for. So let it, not be a mis, let it not be a misconception that the division that you've seen today is the division that students have against us at this institution. What we are here simply for, and we'll stick to what we're here for, is that we, we, we want to give a direction on the position of a shutdown. Right. So first and foremost, historically and traditionally, even the first shutdown of, of, you know, that commenced the series of the Fees Must Fall events has always been a shutdown that has communicated through a robust and a comprehensive dialogue with students and the student board in general. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to allow a shutdown that is pronounced on social media. Mm -hmm. We're not going to allow a shutdown that is pronounced on WhatsApp groups. Mm -hmm. We are going to call for a mass meeting and engage thoroughly comprehensively, extensively, with the student body of this university. Pending such, we are not going to have a shutdown. Because we are tired of creating pop stars out of every protest, where we now create political elites, people who now have access to resources that they claim to not have access to. Right? No, let them howl, it's fine. We are not, we are not even deterred. We are not deterred. So, so, so there are a lot of processes that go into the calling of a shutdown. Right? There are a lot of processes that any student has to make within that decision making when it comes to a shutdown. Right now we are in the middle of the exam season, right? In fact, a lot of students have already started with the exams. And we are saying it would be quite careless, selfish and reckless of us to announce a shutdown through emails. The only shutdown that we are going to announce is after we've consolidated with the masses of students. So we're going to call a mass meeting. We're going to call a mass meeting. So, 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 Amanda! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hey, Joe! Amanda! Hi, Moral! Hi, 
high discipline. High discipline. High morale. So, 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 there must be no confusion that the Vitz EFF is against the shutdown. Julius Malima told him not to shut down. That is complete nonsense. That is complete nonsense. We vehemently stand by what is written behind our T-shirts. And that is that we live for ideas and revolution. And in fact, in our manifesto, we've always stated quite clearly that we want a free, quality, decolonized higher education. We are not going to turn back on our ways. The only problem now is that we are, the only problem now is that we are in a moment where a lot of students feel agitated, right? And pending that, now those people who are bitter have now taken the, the, the opportunity, you know, to kind of direct students, illegitimately so. So we are saying, as the voted in structure, that is not yet into office, on the 1st of November, we are going to have a more solid, a more coherent, and a more coordinated response to the issue of fees, and fees must fall as a whole. The reason why, the reason why we are being held at now, it's because there are people who wanted to control the direction in which fees must fall must take. And it's unfortunate that students are not going to give them their buy-in, students are not going to give them their legitimacy, right? So the second point that we're going to address now is the issue of the fees commission. So we understand that the fees commission has been leaked uh, on, 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 on City Press, right? And it's quite illogical to say someone must, re uh, must, must respond to something that has not been verified. Right, so we want to give a proper, very, uh, a proper response to the Fees Commission report, but we can't give a response that is unverified and a response that is invalid. So we are saying, we know that President Zuma and the presidency has always intended on delaying us. Right, it's not. It's, there's nothing shocking at the fact that the Fees Commission is coming out at the time that it's coming out. The Fees Commission actually was supposed to come out in December, so as to write on the fact that students will no longer be in the precincts of the university, students will be outside of their, will be out of their races. So the issue of the Fees Commission being announced late, the report being announced late, is not something that is surprising to us. We knew that President Zuma and the president were going to delay on the issue of the Fees Commission report. So uh, there's a, there's, there was a question that, uh, how do you guys feel about the report being released so late? We've lost our faith a long time ago in the ANC government. We lost our faith a long time ago. Even when they were delaying, even when they were delaying, we never had faith that they would even come make a report to us. Because this is a government that has promised us things and they've never delivered. And right now, it is their elements on campus that are trying to deter the momentum, the energy, the spirit, and the fighter, the fighting spirit of students.